started. Uh, just say whatever. Yeah, you got a whole podcast right there. All right. So my name, my name is Melly M three L L Y. I'm an underground rapper from Roselle, New Jersey. I let's see, let's see, what should I talk about? I have a lot to talk about. I talk about a lot. I'm a very talkative person. Um, I'm dropping an album soon. I have an album called Jersey Homicide. I've been delaying it almost the entire fucking year. <laughs> I was supposed to drop it originally in March after I dropped my first project, Seven Question Mark, which only people who originally listened to my music since I started know about because it's a deleted project. Um, but yeah. I guess the first thing I could start off by saying is the next couple of things I have coming up. I have the Project Jersey Homicide. I'm planning another show called Raging the Trap. That's going to be the name of the show. Um, it's going to be featuring some other underground artists. But yeah, my main main thing really I'm doing right now, main thing about me, main thing, everything, is I'm trying to bring together the underground scene. I'm trying to... Because I feel like everyone together for all together we could easily come up better it's it's easier i feel like it's easier if we all kind of form a brotherhood and there's not really that many people in new jersey who do that there's mainly drill rappers and i respect all the drill rappers respect to all of y'all i love all of y'all y'all all make fire music too but i feel like there's an underground scene that's also developing kind of that needs to be put together and yeah i'm trying to become the face of that underground scene i'm trying to become the face of new jersey eventually but in the meanwhile, I'm planning on doing some shows, doing events to get everyone together and build myself and the rest of the people around me. Because there's a lot of fucking fire ass underground artists in New Jersey. I guess that's what I'll talk about, actually. The underground scene in New Jersey, because most people think New Jersey is just Jersey drill, like Bandman Row and other artists like that. But there's a very large underground scene that's not really seen at all whatsoever. Like, we're not really noticed um, but yeah, there's a big scene of emo rap, dark rap, trap metal, all that type of shit, all of that. There's a huge scene of that going on and it's all like bubbling underground right now. Literally underground. There's venues that we have that are underground. There's fucking everything is very deep underground right now. And I'm trying to become the face of that. I'm trying to become a versatile artist too, though. I'm not trying to just focus on that. I could do drill. I could do rap. I could do singing as I just did right now. I just did two fucking singing emotional ass songs, but I could also rage on a fucking beat. I could do a playboy Cardi beat, all of that shit. So I'm kind of trying to become the diverse face of New Jersey. I'm trying to kind of build a scene that's going to be as fucking diverse as Florida was in 2016. Oh shit. Um, yeah, I'm trying to build a scene that's as diverse as Atlanta is, as diverse as Florida was back in 2015, 2016. I'm trying Hold to, that. yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to build this shit for real. <laughs> Fuck, I usually talk a lot. It's not that difficult for me to talk. Let's, fine, let's think, let's think. Really good. Let's think. What else is there to talk about? They're not going to be bored. Uh, let's talk about my mental state right now. I am currently, this is for my fans or whoever actually listens to my music for real. And I guess for the general population too, because I do want the general population to understand me as a person. I want y'all to be able to understand who I am and fuck with me more as an artist because I want people to fuck with me personally too. I don't want people to only fuck with my music. I like it when people fuck with me too. I want loyal fan bases. So let's see. I was just on a fucking drug binge for the past four weeks. <laughs> uh, I'm sober now. I'm trying to build myself. I'm trying to work on this album. I'm trying to... Not even like the, the carts and stuff? Nah, I, I just finished my cart today. <laughs> I was, I was going to fucking... That's so annoying, right? My shit is in my pocket right now. Hold on. Yep. Look at this shit. I bent my shit at the show, <laughs> but yeah, I am sober, I guess. I'm going to try to stay sober for a while, I think. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, my really mental state right now, I'm kind of in a state of paranoia. I'm kind of worried about the future because a lot of shit is going wrong, but a lot of shit is going good at the same time, especially in my career. Well, yeah, my career. I'm working on the album. I got bunch of 
projects and shit that I'm working on. But I'm also losing opportunities at the same time. And that's one thing that I've learned as an artist that I got to deal with is losing opportunities because some opportunities aren't really made for you. Like, for example, the Rob Bank show that's going on, what, in an hour and 20 minutes? Uh, I tried getting that opportunity, but I fucked it up because, I, well, I didn't really fuck it up, but I don't have enough of a fan base to really grow there yet. But, yeah, that's really my state right now. I'm kind of in a state of paranoia within myself as well. I'm kind of dealing with shit, dealing with different thoughts in my head, um, dealing with understanding who I am, becoming who I am, I'm trying to build myself in, as an artist. So, yeah, I'm kind of in a negative and positive at the same time, I'm kind of in a paradox. But, yeah, there's a lot of negativity and positivity happening, which is good negativity balances out the positive there always has to be a balance of both so i feel like that's 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 a good thing i never complain about my life though i never complain about where i am because i'm happy for it because next two fucking years i won't be worrying about this shit i'm gonna be fucking rich watch i posted it give me four four years at most and i'll be running an empire and that shit sounds stupid as hell from a young nigga who just printed five shirts in his room and fucking is working on a on an album in the studio right now that has never done shit in his life. But, yeah, that's what I'm working towards. That's what I'm working towards. What else? What else can I speak on? What other topics are there? I wish I had a little chat right there so y'all could tell me what to speak about, but I don't. Yeah, everybody wants, like, a live chat. Like, not even a live chat, but, like, some people want questions. That wouldn't be bad, though. That'd be far. Um, I'm gonna give y'all some information about the projects that I'm dropping soon. Um, actually, matter of fact, I'm gonna tell, this is where I'm going to be announcing the final, um, date and the features and everything else for the, for the Jersey Homicide album. Jersey Homicide will be dropping on December 16th. The features are Young Mags and Coex. Those are the only two features on the album. All the rest of the songs are my solo songs. Like I've, I think I've explained it once on Instagram, but the album is separated into six different pieces. The first piece is the first song. I won't mention song names though, because um, you'll hear them and you'll see them. But the first song is called "The High." The next couple of songs are called "The Rage." Um, matter of fact, let me search that shit up on my notes. I'm not trying to fuck it up. I give them my skull in the place in my mind. This is the last song on the album, the one that's playing right now. So y'all know that. That's the one thing y'all know. Um, yeah, so we have The High, The Rage, The Fall, The Love, and The Death. Those are the different sections of the album. Um, they all represent a certain point in my life. They also represent certain feelings. Like like I said, they're all The High, The Rage, The Fall, The Death. I ain't love the death. They all represent different shit, too. Uh, but yeah, and a short film. That's another thing I have to announce. I'm planning on making a short film for the album. I won't say anything else on that, though, because that's all has to be seen. It's all visual. I can't um, explain anything else for that. I just dropped a song, too. Was it yesterday? Two days ago? Called Walk. Go listen to that shit. It's pretty far. It's a freestyle. But yeah, those are the main shit. And for y'all New York and New Jersey and Chicago niggas, I'm dropping a drill song soon. And he, I'm, now I'm about to play it out loud. I'm just letting you guys know. You feel me? Uh, the last song? Voices in the, uh, I, I be, my shit's up. I'm like, what's up, Smooth TV? You feel me? It's smooth here. I just don't be putting my voice in this. Y'all know me. You feel me? I'm an introvert. Uh, Word. You feel me? I'm about to be playing this shit a little. You might, you might. It's not going to disrupt him, but it's going to be like negative 10 dB while he's talking. Tell me. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Uh, let's see, what else could I talk about? Like, really focus on what you're doing, not what I'm doing. All right. Um, I guess I could talk more about the album. Um,. I didn't really know what the album meant or what it was until a couple months ago. I put it together. Um, 
I finally understood what it was because I guess my mind was putting it all together throughout the years. It was writing the songs for me. And that shit was shocking and a motherfucker. And that's one thing that you realize as an artist. If you put a lot of songs together and you do shit genuinely, you, you actually are making the music because you feel it. Like the shit that's playing right now. I, I feel this shit. This is real to me. If you really put real shit together, that shit will put a story together. And I promise you, you don't gotta, you don't gotta fucking find a lineup for your albums. Albums will come naturally if you do the shit naturally. That's another thing. Like, a lot of people don't do shit naturally, and a lot of people do shit for fun. If you do shit naturally, it will come a lot easier to you. And and and, and, and yeah, natural, natural things come natural. But things don't just come out without work, though. That's one thing, though. I can't, I can't say that because things do come with a lot of work. Um. Study the 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 master key, the master key book. That's one book that I suggest you study. Um, it teaches about the law of attraction. It teaches about like multiple. It teaches you how to live to a certain extent. But if you're an artist, it also teaches you how to become a better artist. Um, but yeah, study the master key system. Read, read. I, I, that's one thing I need to do. Read books. Start trying to understand more who you are. Start trying to understand. And this is towards artists, but also the general population as well. Because uh, I do want to reach out to the general population, but I also do want to speak towards artists that are like me so they can understand shit and they could learn shit, even though I might not be the most experienced. But yeah, study the master key system. Put in a fuckload of work because you're not going nowhere without work. If you can't live and breathe your music, you're not going nowhere. If you can't live and breathe what you're doing, you can't you can't do it. That's just a fact. So if you genuinely want this, and this is my advice to all artists who are starting out, even though I'm starting out too, but if you really want to go somewhere with this shit, live and breathe it and manifest. Manifest it. I, I'm not going to really go into details on how to manifest, how to meditate and do all the spiritual shit that I do do. But if you want to search that shit up yourself and you want to understand yourself, or you you could even DM me about it because if you want to speak one view um one on one about it I will I am openly willing to speak to people about it but yeah if you genuinely want to go somewhere manifest and work manifestation and work the law of attraction the law of attraction says what you what you what you what you want you will attract but that's only if you genuinely want it like your energy has to be genuine so yeah that's my advice to to artists be genuine manifest and work three things and in life in general too i don't think nobody want to be a broke nigga i don't want to be a broke nigga but if you don't want to be a broke nigga do those three things i'm a broke nigga right now because i live with my mom so i'm 16 years old but at the age i'm at yeah, Cause you have to go through it You have to go through the broken You have to go through being down there to, to get somewhere That's why like I can't really respect people who've had shit their whole life Unless they are genuine people But a lot of the people who've had shit their whole life They don't understand what it is to, to, to build something for yourself Like That's why I don't, I don't like taking shit from people I like to make shit myself But yeah um, Build yourself Become someone that's my advice to you Even if you're not an artist Build yourself Become someone And work Work like a motherfucker I'm in here working I, I'm not sitting on, on this fucking In front of this camera For no reason This shit is work This shit is promotion For my merch Promotion for my fucking album Everything But I'm also doing it Because I fuck with everyone Who listens to my music Everyone who fucks with me I fuck with you back So I want the best for y'all So I'm gonna do what's the best for y'all Which is speaking to y'all And giving y'all advice My bad for twitching so fucking much bro <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's, let's see what else What else can we talk about There's a bat above me Oh, I'm gonna talk about my merch I'm gonna stand up real quick and show it uh, Let me try to get this mic sturdy though So it doesn't fall over Alright, next topic is right here let me move up to the camera real quick. Just a of the time till I die, yeah. Take a poison in my grave, I'm a right, yeah. Put a bullet in my skull, yeah. Every time I'm asking for the blood. On the my vest, yeah. I fucking hate myself, wanna die. Shooting up black tar for my veins till I die. I don't even wanna see, but I'm opening my eyes. Got a rugged for my skull in the place in my mind, yeah. I'm dropping merch soon. I know y'all gonna fuck with this one. It's the, uh, yeah, this is the first time anybody sees it too. 
Yep, this is my merch right here. This is the Anima Vesta 1600 merch, collective merch. Um, I have a website up already. Um, I'm probably gonna drop them within the next three weeks or so, cause I still do have to print more shirts and do all that shit. And that shit is work too. That shit is all work. But yeah, I'm probably gonna be dropping my merch soon. Cause I need money. <laughs> this merch is gonna be funding my my music. <laughs> this is gonna fund all my shit. Shows and this is what's gonna fund everything. Cause I don't got no fucking money no more. <laughs> but ah, yeah, that's what I have so far. I'm about to look through my fucking notes to see what I could talk about. <laughs> Uh, Yo, bro, what should I, what, what I should talk about? You heard? What topic? I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm trying to think of something. See, if I, if I had some questions, man, I could fucking go for hours. You give me questions, I could go for fucking hours. We're gonna talk about bitches. Females, women. My bad. I ain't mean bitches. Um Let's see. What can I talk about females? I just got out of a, 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 a damn. I just got out of a relationship. Oh uh, That shit was ass. <laughs> Breakups are ass. That shit is depressing. Um I don't fucking know. Fuck bitches, get money. But not really though. If you find a good bitch, keep her. If you find a good woman, keep her. Don't don't waste no good women. And, and if they not for you, pass them to me, cause I need them. I don't fucking know, bro. Being this pain that I'm in, I'm insane, little wind. If I'm open the gates of my mind, then it can the flood of the mist and the stood in the world. Wonder why I'm in the bus, can the good, yeah, I wonder what the fuck can it be. Forgot to realize he made a mistake. Ah, uh, my bad, y'all. I'm not trying to bore y'all. Um, ah, right, right, give me, give me like two minutes most. I find a new topic. Producers, we talking about producers now. It's fucking hard to find a producer. So if y'all y'all producers, fucking hit me up. I need a producer. I need someone to make beats for me. But yeah, I guess I'll continue talking more about the New Jersey scene. Cause like it's a lot to it's a lot to fucking unbox really when you talk about it. You said what? Yeah. But yeah, in the New Jersey scene, like I was saying, there's a lot of like darker shit, like um actual underground shit, like what you would hear like from Ghost Man or Suicide Boys and shit like that. There's a lot of that type of music coming out. But like I said, there's also a lot of drill and a lot of different shit, like different shit in general. So yeah, all that shit is really merging together. Um, I'm trying to be the face of it, like I said. But yeah, um. I think the best the, the best thing that the underground scene could do right now is really come together, like I said. And that's why I'm planning some shows. Like I said, Raising the Trap is coming soon. Probably next year. Probably this year. I'm not sure. Probably late December to early January, I'll probably throw that show. But, yeah. That's what's up right now. Bro, ask me a question, bro. That's yeah, that do. You heard though, bro? Ask me a question. I, I, I'm mixing. I have no idea. No, that's, that's on you. This whole thing is on you. I, I'm, I'm bad at fucking. Ah, shit. You're gonna hear that, so you feel me? Like, this is no cut raw. Straight up, you feel me? This is all raw. It's all going on there? Yo, y'all about to hate me. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers, brother. Y'all about to hate me, bro. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, let's think. Let's think. That shit in the background? Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Uh, fuck. 
I guess I could keep giving y'all advice to a certain extent. That's really all I got. <laughs> I'm really like an open fucking book. All I really have is my advice and my music. Like, and myself, I guess. Yeah. Um, I guess my, like, I'll continue talking about shit that, like, I want. I want for my music. I guess the main thing that I really want is to help people, help myself. Um, this music shit's a therapy to me. Like, if you hear the song that's playing in the background, this shit's real to me. Like, this shit's therapy to me. Um, yeah. And the reason I'm kind of being fucking awkward is I don't fucking like cameras. I don't fucking like y'all. But, yeah, like I was saying, um, my main really objective with this music shit is to help people and help myself. Cause even though it sounds fucking selfish as hell, I do like I do this for myself. Like this shit is keeping me alive. Like I said in my last interview, on my only interview. Um, yeah, this shit is keeping me alive, but I'm also trying to keep other people alive. Like the main really reason cause I could be making drill music and shit like that right now. Like really music that doesn't matter per se. Like it matters statistically and all that, but it doesn't really matter like on the on the level that I'm trying to have it matter at, um, I kind of make this type of shit for as therapy for myself, and I make this shit as therapy for other people because I've been reached out by multiple people, and they've told me that they re- they they really fucking like my music makes an impact in their life, and that shit's fucking special to me. That shit's one thing that I fucking love to do is to make an impact in people's lives. So I make shit like this because. I want you to feed off of my depression I want you to feed off of the pain that I'm in I want y'all to feed off of it And use it to keep you alive I want it to To Somehow be therapeutic to you I want I want Me as a person To be able to keep people happy Cause like If I If I really If I'm really being honest Like The one thing that genuinely makes me happy Is to to make people Is to see people happy Because of the things that I've done And it's, it's one of my downfalls But it's also one of the good things about me Is that I fucking care I fucking care about people a lot But then at the same time I fucking care too much About what people think And what, like people in general And that's the reason that I am in this mental state uh, Cause I fucking care too much sometimes And I fucking care Like it, like I said it's a paradox I'm venting to y'all niggas right now <laughs> um, But yeah um, Shit I was about to say something I lost my train of thought Uh, yeah, I lost my train of thought Oh, damn, what was I about to say? I just had some thought I was about to say Meanwhile, I'm thinking Be ready, December 16th December 16th, my album is dropping But, um Yeah, like I was saying It is good to care But it also can be a downfall Oh, this is what I was gonna say I feel like To a certain extent My purpose is to to like have this happen like i feel like my purpose is negative and positive and it's like the the main reason if you if you follow me on any social media platforms i use the word paradox a fuck load i use the word a lot um because i feel like i'm not 100 percent sure what what the meaning of anything is so i use the word paradox because i feel like there's there's negative and positive to everything and everything is needed like i feel like everything is needed for for a reason i'm not sure what it is though because i'm not fucking perfect i'm not god so yeah i do want y'all to take my advice and i do want y'all to to fucking follow me because yeah follow me that not even like i mean social media i mean follow me as a human being follow me in my music i want the people who listen to my music to follow me like to genuinely follow me to be like i want if i die i want y'all to fucking riot and this is this is mad fucking early for me to be saying shit like this. Like, I'm 16 years old. I, I'm still extremely fucking underground. But this is this is gonna be some rare ass shit when when I blow up. So when I'm when I'm up there, if I die in any way, like if there's any foul play in my death, I want y'all to fucking riot. Like that's the type of person I am. And I, I want a cult. I don't want a fan base. I want a cult. But I don't I don't mean like a cult, like 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 demonic. Like, I want a cult of people who is genuinely going to fuck with me, who's going to be there for me. Like, if I fucking, 
anything. I just want a, 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 cult, a cult fan base that is going to be there for me for anything. Because like I said, my fans and my music are what's keeping me alive. Even though it may be small right now, small as fuck. I don't have that many fans. I have maybe 30, 40 people who I could say are genuinely fans of me that I don't really know like that. I just know that they are fans of me. And I try to connect it with them as well as I can. But yeah, I want an occult fan base. And I guess I'll keep talking about my plans for the future. Fuck it. Um, I do want... I do want a lot of shit. I want a lot of shit. I'm a fucking greedy human being. <laughs> I want... I want to throw a show. That's the one fucking thing I've been wanting to do for a while. And if you've been following me on any social media platforms, you know I've had attempts at it and I fucked them up or they've been fucked up by other people. Um, but yeah, there will be shows coming soon because I feel like that's the one thing that's going to build my fan base for real. Because I feel like if people come out to my shows, just the first one, they're going to see the amount of fucking energy that I put out. Like what I'm talking about right now is even fucking energy. Like, um... This is just me being raw with, with, with y'all niggas. Like, I'm, I'm just being straight up. I'm dead-ass venting to y'all right now. Like, y'all y'all be in my therapy session right now. I'm fucking giving y'all my energy. I want y'all to feed off my energy. That's what it is. I want you to feed off my energy. So, yeah, I feel like when I do these shows, that's when people are really going to fucking feed off my energy because they get to see me in person. They get to feel my f personal fucking aura, my energy, and all that shit. And that's when I will actually be able to fucking become the the cult leader per se that i want to become so yeah shows albums coming fan base is most definitely coming very soon um yeah oh i just got a, a fucking thought tiktok i hate that shit i'm not gonna lie it's so hard though i'm trying to get Hell no, that shit's easy as hell to use, and that's why I hate it. Because niggas be blowing off over the most dumbass bullshit on that, bro. And like they don't they don't gain a fucking fan base. And that's why I don't I don't really use TikTok like in the way that I'll Like I won't post a snippet on there and fucking blow up over it because I don't want to blow off of a fucking snippet, bro. And it may be way fucking easier, just like signing a record label, I mean, signing a record deal. It may be way fucking easier, but I wanna fucking blow up the What's the word? Um, the hard way, I guess. The hard way. I want to, like, build it. I don't really want to just have shit given to me. Like, I mean, it would be fucking nice to have a song blow up and then fucking a huge fan base follows. But I want to, like, at least have these next couple of years where I'm building my persona, building Melly as a, as a, as a persona. So, and... Even if you do discover me off of a specific song that blows off, I mean, blows up, you will know who I am, like, from the past, from the from these couple of years that are following up, um, the persona that I built. Um, yeah, that's another thing about, um, really, art, like, music art, is um, building a persona. Because, like, if you look at, like, the biggest artists, for real, like, Cardi, Trippy Red, X, Suicide Boys, they have huge fucking personas. Their personas are fucking insane. Like, if you um if you look at Cardi's performances, bro, King Vamp, that nigga is not Cardi. That's King Vamp when he on stage. That's the same thing I want with me. I do not want you to see Melvin Isaiah Alvarez when you're on stage. I want you to see Melly when you're on stage. M3LOY, all capitals. That's the nigga I want y'all to see. I want that nigga to be crazy as fuck. Have the most energy. I want to build that persona. So yeah, I want to build my persona like a motherfucker um what else can i talk about music music it's a fucking wide ass fucking career that's that's like maybe the main thing that i didn't realize when i started is that being an artist is not just fucking recording music and dropping it but this shit is way fucking more it's way deeper it's like you have to build your persona there's i could go on for a whole 20 minutes saying shit that like needs to happen for you to genuinely become a fucking legendary artist which if you're not trying to become then i don't know how the fuck you're making music because if you're not trying to become a legendary artist then go fuck yourself <laughs> uh, like and i mean that with all respect because if you're not really trying to become that legend then why the fuck are you doing it like why like if you if you dwell into your mind and try to understand why you're doing something and you're not doing it to become the best that there ever was then why what's the point there's not really a point so yeah, being an artist is not fucking easy. Even like I said, um, 
Yes, sir. Like I said, um, this is just my first year making music. Um, but yeah, it's fucking hard. But it's fucking good at the same time. It's all good. It's all good. We doing good right now. Um, what else should I speak about? This shit is weird. <laughs> this shit feel weird as hell. Um, I feel like a little kid. Wait. Ah, right, yeah, this is the right side of the phone. I just wanted to make sure. You hear them dogs barking? That's me, nigga. It's me, nigga. I'm the big dog. <laughs> but, uh, 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 yeah, my mom's texting me. My mom said, wrap shit up. I'm not wrapping shit up, though. <laughs> um, let me tell y'all about my collective. Because I know a lot of y'all... There go my mama calling. <laughs> I'm about to answer the phone. Hello? All right, I'll call you back, man. All right. My bad. <laughs> my mom called in the middle of... <laughs> um, shit, what was I about to tell y'all? Um, oh, yeah. I was about to tell you about my collective. Because I know multiple artists watch this. Yeah, 1.5 subscribers. Congratulations to my nigga. But, uh, yeah, since there's a lot of artists that watch this shit, um, I have a collective. It's the one that I'm wearing right now. It's Anima Vestra 1600, which means your soul. And 1600 is kind of like the childlike peace slash, like, it's really an unexplainable feeling. It's like the number represents really a feeling of, like, peace, perfection, childhood, like, I don't even know. It's just the the feeling that I chase really in life. But yeah, that's what the name means. Um, my collective right now only consists of me, um, my videographer, and um, my group of f five other friends. Um, so it's only really seven of us in the group right now. I am looking for people to join the group. Um, so this is really promotion for people to join the group. This is my call for anyone who wants to work with me, anyone who wants to actually um, join the group and dedicate yourself to, to the group. Um, yeah, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram. My Instagram is M3LLY1600. Um, yeah, hit me up on there so we can speak about it. But the one thing that I do that I, I do need, though, from anyone who wants to join the group in a general sense is a sense of... Um, commitment like i need you to commit yourself to the group i need you to be genuine with it i need, i don't need you to be simply chasing a bag like just trying to get money out of the group i need you to be able to want to work with all of us in general i want y'all to be able to i want y'all to want to do the same things that i am i need y'all to be able to work towards the same purpose that i am working and that might sound selfish but i am if i'm going to be willing to work with you and work towards your purpose because i do want to help whoever's working with me i do want to build them up to their purpose as well but i'm gonna need you to work the same as i'm doing because i have a fuck load of work to do and that's that's one of the things that i'm, that I'm really lacking right now is the collective because once we build this collective we are going to be there's strength in numbers so there's going to be a fuck load of more shit that we could do once we got this collective going so if you're an artist producer dj digital artist um clothing designer clothing printing i don't give a fuck what you do you you could you could fucking draw stick figures for all i fucking care but if you're doing something to fucking help the group and you genuinely want to invest your time into it hit me up join the group let's speak we'll link up we'll do whatever we got to do and we'll get to work because i'm telling you and like i said in the least cocky way possible in the most respect respectful way possible i'm going to be fucking running the scene in the next couple of years and i'm i mean that like i said with all respect towards everybody else because i fucking love the rest of the underground scene i went to my first really show um a couple of weeks ago and like this the sense of brotherhood that i felt there was fucking amazing like that shit was beautiful so i do fucking love everyone else in the scene but i'm going to be running the scene and if you want to take that trip with me y'all need to start fucking reaching out to me now this this is your call to reach out to me and fucking come along and work with me so yeah if y'all want to work with me hit me up i'm 100 percent down to work with anyone who wants to work with me fans um yeah this is my final thing i want to say to people who listen to my music i mean not really final i don't know um but to people who listen to my music people who actually care about me support me fucking um fuck with me in any sense um 
I am always here 24 seven. I'm, I'm always on my fucking phone and I'm not fucking famous enough to, to not answer. Trust me. I answer to everybody. I don't get no fucking notifications. So yes, if you need anything, if you, if you need a therapist, if you need, if you need song suggestions, if you need any fucking thing you need, you need put ons with a videographer or a, or a studio. I put y'all on. Um, anything y'all need, I got you. I am that type of person. I'm the type of person that cares. Like I said, I want a uh, um a cult fan base, and the only way I'm going to receive that is if I put in the work as well, and I show that I want that. So yeah, I'm willing to. I'm telling y'all, y'all could Facetime me, call me, DM me anything, and I'm gonna be here. That's to all the people who genuinely fuck with my music. And if you don't yet, go listen to it. If you fuck with it. You gonna fuck with me? If you don't fuck with it, you can still fuck with me. <laughs> Feel me? You don't gotta fuck with my music, but you can fuck with me and still support me. So yeah, that's 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 really what I got to say. I will be back very soon. My album will be back very soon. My name is M Three L L Y. Melly the motherfucking, I don't know, Menace. <laughs> Young Crucifix. I said that in the last one too. Young 16. Fuck y'all. <laughs> um, oh my lord, my mom tripping. Bro. <laughs> you just sent me the songs, bro? Yeah, I sent them. Right. Just be careful. Yeah.